Good evening. I'm Karen Angela Moore, and welcome, welcome, welcome again to Writers' Night. I'm real excited about tonight's show. We're um, doing something a little bit different. We have two writers on this evening instead of three, and we've been talking about doing this for a while so we can get a little more music out of each writer and also a little more conversation. And tonight with me is Rocky Dimmick and Steve Goodhue. And welcome both of you to the show. Great to be here. And Rocky, you have been very patient this evening waiting. <laughs> um, yes, I have, as a matter of fact. How long have you been in Nashville? About a year and a half. Uh huh. And where did you come here from? I came here from Bermuda. Bermuda? Yes. Wow, what were you doing down there? I was singing. Really? Uh huh. What sort of gigs do you have in Bermuda? I was at a, a pub up in St. George's, uh -huh. which is a very old, the old part of uh, Bermuda, and I played. Uh, Six nights a week, five hours a night, for three, no for three months running, and it was, uh, it was a lot of fun. Beautiful wow. place, yeah. Were you doing cover tunes or some of your some own of stuff? Some of mine in covers, you know, uh -huh. it was sort of a, a normal kind of acoustic gig, you know. Go down there and uh, drink as much rum as you can. And <laughs> Chase women down <laughs> the beach. Entertain, entertain uh -huh. the, the sailing crews as they come stumbling in from, from the ocean, you know. It's a lot of fun. It's a great place. I was there for two seasons. Uh -huh. The year before, the season just before I, I got to Nashville, I was there, and then a the year before that, I was there. And it's how did you get experience. a job in Bermuda? Uh, <clears throat> an agent that I worked through in Washington, D.C., which mm -hmm. is where I'm from, I uh, <clears throat> told him that I needed some work. He said, how'd you like to go to Bermuda? And I said, uh, sure. Ah, that's so great. He said, all right, you're on. It must have paid okay, kept it you down well. there. It paid well. It paid well. It was. It's a great gig, you know. They uh -huh. fly you down and put you up and uh -huh. feed you and pay you a good salary, and it's great. So you gave yeah. up Bermuda for Nashville? Uh, yeah, I hope to get back there sometime. Okay. It's a marvelous place. Marvelous and what place. what sort of things are you doing here in town? I know you do writer's nights. and Yeah, writer's nights and, and write with different people. I play lead guitar with a couple of groups and produce some demos at my studio. And mm -hmm. You have a studio? Mm, small studio uh -huh. at my place, yeah. Great. All right. People bring in their songs, and I play the instruments and produce the, the tapes for Really? Them. So what else great. do you play yeah. besides guitar? Uh, piano and bass, and write out the drum tracks on my machine, and do the mix, and wow. set it up real well. I'll have to check that it's out. It's cool, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, real neat. Real well. what, um, what songs are you going to do for us tonight? I will do um, a song that I wrote a couple years ago about uh, Country radio when I was a small boy, mm -hmm. with uh, Patsy Cline and yeah. Brenda Lee, and <laughs> I Walk the Line and Oh Lonesome Me and stuff like that. It's called AM Country Radio, uh -huh. <clears throat> and then I'll do a song called uh, A Shut Mouth Gathers No Foot. <laughs> <clears throat> fun little song. And what else am I going to do? A, a more recent composition called uh, Texas and Back. Uh huh. Which now that one was on your demo tape. I heard that. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. It's a neat song. Did you like it? Yes, I did. As a matter of fact, I'm glad you're doing that one. Yeah. It's a it's a, it's a song about writing music and being in Nashville and your life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, welcome to the show, Steve Goodhue. Good to be here. How are you over there? Oh, just fine. Good. Just fine. You're um, from a place almost as foreign as Bermuda. Yeah, New York. <laughs> <laughs> More like upstate. It's upstate New York, which, you know. Oh, they have trees up there. Yeah, yeah. trees and lakes and trout and it's real uh, nice. How long have you been in Nashville? Uh, I've actually been here about 10 years. Wow. 1978. I Jeepers. consider it my home. Yeah, you know. I guess so. And um, you came here for the music. Well, I came here to go to school, Belmont College, like, uh -huh. a lot of. And did you a do that? A lot of musicians come down for that. Did you do that? You went to Belmont? Yeah, I went to Belmont just Great. for a little bit and uh -huh. then uh, sort of hung around ever since. Hanging out in the wings. Now I'm doing That's TV neat. shows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, you're doing some, yeah. and you're doing some showcases around town. Yeah, well, I've done uh, uh, Windows on the Cumberland mm -hmm. and. Uh, you know, different writers' nights, mm -hmm. and everybody says the Bluebird. I play mm -hmm. the Bluebird a little bit, and uh, now, do you usually yeah. perform with a band? I have. I've played the uh, lead guitar for uh, some people in town, and uh, a band in Alabama called the Primatons. Play with them for a week. The Primatons. The Primatons. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> play with them for about a week, and uh, let's see some other people. Uh, Jerry Dale McFadden played with him. One gig. Now, have you been pitching uh, songs and um, uh, and pursuing the artist thing since you came to Nashville? Uh, I haven't really done that much. I've 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 I had a song up at Peter Drake's for a little while, 
you know, for about a year. They, they tried to pitch that, and I haven't really pitched that much stuff. I'm, I'm just sort of getting out right now. I've been in the wings for a long time, and uh, just uh, writing songs and, you know, watching the, the sunset. <laughs> <laughs> and the hills and the haze. Yeah. The reason why I was asking is because 10 years in Nashville spans a long time, and I was wondering if you well, saw Well, they told change. me right when I got here, they said, you know, it takes 10 years, so I just waited 10 Ooh. years. <laughs> So now I want to get it over quick, you know. Now, <laughs> now you're coming out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Rocky? Are you doing much pitching with your songs, or? <clears throat> Excuse me, on my third is a little <clears throat> congested here. Uh, I haven't been doing too much pitching of late. Uh -huh. I'm really ready to, to go at it again. I've met, I've met a lot of a lot of people in the last you know six months or a year, just kind of hanging out and you know hanging out with beautiful people. You know and that's important. <laughs> Um, Musicians. And you know, it's really a matter of knowing people and working with people. And, yeah. I, and, and I've been real busy uh, of late and writing and taking care of, you know, my life and stuff. Uh -huh. and, and doing demos. And doing demos, yeah. yeah. And so I'm, I'm kind of, I know some people and I'm getting ready to say, want to hear my music? <laughs> Great songs. No. So, um, uh, tell me a little bit about one or two of the songs you're going to do tonight. Well, Inspiration or? Uh, well, one's called Blackie, and I'm, I'm going to do that one because I'm all dressed in black. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, let's see, another one's called Benny Roll. And I really don't know where that, that, that's a real subliminal type of song. If you listen to it real close, you can tell that uh, if you can switch all the verses around uh -huh. and put them in any order, it still makes sense. Wow. So, you know, that's, that's intense. Yeah, that's so if I forget <laughs> one, you know, one verse, I can throw it in later. <laughs> So that works pretty good. That's and now uh, let's see. Uh, the other song is called Senorita, uh -huh. and uh, that's not. There's a song by Danny Flowers called Senorita. I, I I wrote mine a little before his, but he doesn't know that. So I'm gonna <laughs> play. Know. I'm playing it for him tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's uh, that's kind of a, a Mexican style. Oh great. Sort of, I don't know. Sort of a Towns Van Zant kind of song. All right. Good. Yeah. Well, like I said, I'm real excited about this show. We got a couple of writers instead of three, and we're going to get a little, squeeze a little more music out of both of them. And we're going to get right on with that and start with Rocky, so don't you go away. Thank you. Said when I was a boy so long ago. Well, my daddy's old Chevy had this AM radio. Five black buttons, you could pre-select your station. It was something new. Man, I always favored button number two. Cause there was there I could hear that high and lonesome sound. Sounding like something from hurt side of town I used to listen to that AM country radio It made me feel so good I walked the line and old lonesome me Miss Patsy Klein and Miss Brenda Lee was on AM country radio Man, it really moved my soul It taught me all I really had to know As a skinny little kid with dumb glasses and scuffed up knees Well, I was picking up on Tex Ritter and the late Jim Reeves Just a goofy little kid with a catcher's mitt But most of them songs was real big hits But brother, I could tell there was something really there for me and now the years have come and the years have gone away But I'm still knocked right out when I hear them old records play I first heard them on AM country radio It made me feel so good The Tennessee Waltz and he'll have to go to listen in and just love it so it was am country radio man it really moved my soul it taught me all i really had to know i first 
first heard him on that AM country radio, and I love it to this day. That old Chevy's gone and country music's changed, but the truth in them songs remains the same. It was AM country radio, man, it really moved my soul. It taught me all I really want to know. got some music I've got some words so honey let's take them to Texas and back you and me darling our guitars in the back we'll write a bunch of new songs we're bound to bring a big hit back have a lot of fun, let the hits just come It's simple if you do it like that And you've got some music Well, I've got some words So honey, let's take them to Texas and back We're both finally landing a few things In this old country music town I got a couple of new things that'll turn some heads around. And I know you got some things I'd be very pleased to see. And you've got some music. Well, I've got some words. So, honey, let's take them to Texas and back. So, Hand me your hand And give me a kiss Hank Williams himself Did it just like this If my life ever changes If my most special dreams come true well, There's a special group of people who I know I'll always stay close to And honey, I gotta tell you The most special of them all is you And you've got some music But I've got some words So honey, let's take them to Texas and back You've got some music I've got some words, honey, let's take them to Texas and back. I was in a social situation just the other night. Somehow it didn't work out quite right I was speaking right up Just shooting from the hip I guess I must have got a little loose at the lip Cause I asked a hostess about her baby chimpanzee I said, that's the funniest looking monkey I ever did see She said, sir, I beg your pardon Excuse me, please Chump, that's no chimp that's our daughter Louise A shut mouth gathers no foot That's what they say It might be so Felt about as dumb as a box full of rocks And I figured it was time to go And later that evening I was back at home Me and my girlfriend was all alone We had the lights turned down Our inhibitions was low Relaxing in the darkness, a flowing with the flow. She was telling me about her little do's and don'ts. I was working on her immediate wills and won'ts. She was starting to quiver and shiver at the knees. I said, I love your pudgy little body lying so close to me. A shut mouth gathers no foot, that's what they say. A shut 
cotton mouth, got his no foot, it might be so. Felt about as dumb as a box full of rocks, and I figured it was time to go. Well, I still believe in forthright honesty, but lately certain changes have come over me. Now I think it might be better for my health to keep my brilliant observations to myself. A shut mouth gathers no foot, that's what they say. A shut mouth gathers no foot, baby, I ought to know. I felt about as dumb as a box full of rocks, and I think it might be time to lay low. Shetland pony. She was as black as pitch black, stood only nine in one half hands. If you rode upon her back, well, she looked really grand. She was going to be in the rodeo, she was gonna go out to be a racehorse. Then a boy shot her. She ran away going full force. Our black, he was a pony. Our black, he was a little pony. Our black, he was a pony. Our black, he was a Shetland pony. She was as chic as an Arabian, about half the size of a quarter horse. She won lots of ribbons, blue, red, and yellow, of course. Came from a faraway island that sits on the edge of the world. There's a reward for a hundred grand, cause she belongs to my little girl. the 
dunes, pearls, derringers, and velvet perfume. Benny roll, Benny roll, Benny roll, Benny roll, Benny roll. Magnetic buttons down below. Maybe you should stick to dominoes. Tuxedo shirts, expensive flirts. Hit him again until it hurts. Jukebox playing, jumping jive. People suffering from the pain of being alive. Bloody fights, wicked nights. Rows and rows of dressing room lights. Benny Watching it fall. The sun is casting shadows on the wall. A cross is hanging over her bed where she kneels and prays that her man is not dead. The town is afraid he'll come back again. Senorita, the world is full of bad men. Senorita raises chickens out in the alley. As she waits for her lover down in the valley. Padre, the 
behind him like a hungry jackal. Now the blues is a coming out of the river's mouth. Gunshots they echo from the north to the south. But just like a cop fight, one loses and one wins. Whoa, Senorita, the world is full of bad. Well, thank you once again for joining us this evening. Before we say good night, we're going to get a couple more words from our guest, Mr. Steve Goodhue. I want to thank you for joining us tonight. And tell me about that first song, Blackie. Did that really happen to you, or was that just a song that you wrote? Uh, no, that didn't really happen to me. Uh, I always wanted to write a song about a horse, and I don't think I've really got to that point yet, so I've just started with a pony. You know, the next song will be about a horse. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Thanks again for joining us. And Rocky Dimmick, thank you for joining us. I appreciate you coming out. Fantastic. I, I've enjoyed uh, myself, and I've enjoyed you. And Steve has been uh, somewhat entertaining as well. <laughs> so um, that's about it, I guess. Oh, once again, thank you for joining us on Writer's Night. Um, if it, you or anybody out there in the audience would like to be on our show, please give me a call. I'm Karen Angela Moore. You can reach me at 377-3247. And also, keep your eyes and ears open for some benefits that are going around town to um, help the financial problem that CAD is in. We sure could use your help. And if you want to become a member or you want to join up or even just send us a donation, yeah, that, that'll do it. That, we'll put it on the gold one. <laughs> you can call the station at 254-1524. Thanks once again for joining us. This has been another night of Writer's Night. Night. Bye. Bye. <laughs>